guys welcome back to networkers home youtube channel so i'm aja this side and today in this video we'll be discussing about ch version 12 modules key updates and more this is the second video in the sequence with the ch version 12 what's new part one so in the last video we saw what are the new things in our ch version 12 so this is the second part of the video. And in this video, we'll see what are the different different modules in your CH version 12 and what are the key updates? What are the different different operating systems that have been added in the CH version 12? And we'll see what could be the possible job rules if you are going with the CH version 12. So let's move on with the video. So if we discuss about the modules, so in CH version 12, we are having certain modules First of all, we'll have the introduction to ethical hacking. Okay. We'll see what is ethical hacking, what are the different types of hacking, okay, and what are the different types of hackers, different hacker classes, that things you'll see in this particular module. Then we have the footprinting and reconnaissance. Now, this footprinting and reconnaissance module, this is going to use or this is going to introduce you to the methods of information gathering. Means with this particular module, you learn how to gather more and more information about your target. So this is the second module about information gathering. Then we have scanning networks. Once you have gathered the information about the networks, now we need to check that information and we need to start scanning the networks for different, different vulnerabilities and loopholes. We'll see what are the different services running, what are the different, different versions, what are the open ports, okay? These things we are going to see in the third module, that is your scanning networks. Once network scanning is done, we go with the enumeration. So enumeration is again gaining even more information with the information you have. Means whatever information you already have, you use that same information to gather more information. Okay, that can be like your user IDs and passwords and all these informations. Okay, then we have the vulnerability analysis. So this vulnerability analysis deals with the looking for more and more vulnerabilities or loopholes in the systems. So once we have gone through all this part, this entire part, once we have covered this part, now we have enough information. So with the on the basis of this particular information, we can create a strategy. Okay, we can create a strategy that how to gain the access to the system and for gaining access in the system we have again the system hacking where we'll see how to gain access of the system once you gain the access of the system there are still other ways you can put in malware and trojans means basically creating trojans and viruses for the different different operating systems like your windows linux okay once this is done then we'll go with the next module, module number eight, that is your sniffing. So sniffing is basically capturing some or all of the information that is traveling inside the network. Okay. Whatever information is traveling from one device to another device. So capturing that information is sniffing. Okay. So we'll cover the sniffing part. Then we have the social engineering. Social engineering is gaining the information from the target by directly associating with the target. Okay. We means we are going to interact with the target and we are trying to gather more information from the target means we are going to trick the target to reveal some sensitive information. Then we have the DOS denial of service. So here we'll see about DOS and the DDoS. So basically this is like flooding a particular target server with a lot of request packets and <clears throat> the target server will be exhausted to reply back to the all the requests and whenever a legit user will try to access the system or server, they will not be able to access means the server will not be able to respond. Then we have the session hijacking. So session hijacking means basically gaining access of the session. If there is already a communication going on, then you use the same session to compromise your target. Then we have the evading IDS firewalls and honeypots. So you will be seeing different different techniques can that can be used to evade the firewalls because in the networks there are these firewalls and ids and honeypots these are the devices that are deployed in the networks for the network security so we'll see how to avoid them 
Then we have hacking web servers. So how you can hack different, different web servers. We have hacking app, hacking web applications. Then with the web application, we'll see about SQL injection for the databases to gain the database information. Then hacking the wireless network. You will see how to hack WP, WPA2, WEP, these kind of wireless security protocols. Then hacking the mobile platforms means different, different mobile platforms like your Android phones. You'll see how to hack them. Then we have the IoT and OT hacking means different smart devices. Internet of Things devices means all your smart devices like your smartwatch, ACs, or your Alexa devices, these kind of devices. Okay. Then we have the cloud computing. So we'll introduce to the cloud computing and what are the threats in the cloud computing. And finally, we learn with the cryptography that is to encrypt the traffic. So we'll learn the encryption technologies as well. So these are the 20 modules in our CEH version 12. Now next, let's move on. We have key feature updates in the CEH version 12. That what are the key features or what are the major updates in the CEH version 12? So the major updates, first is this new learning methodology that is having four phases that we discussed in the last video that is learn, certify, engage, and compete. And then in the CH version 12, there's a new strategy means there the EC council has new challenges every month to test your job ready skills. And this is 100% compliance to the NICE 2.0 framework. Okay. Then based on comprehensive industry-wide job task analysis means you will see how to analyze different different networks okay and network securities then there will be hands-on learning labs so you will be doing everything in the labs only practice range so you will get again you'll get the labs to practice so there will be area where you can practice means you'll be given with the target servers and you'll have to apply all your knowledge then global CEH community competitions okay everyone who has enrolled in the CEH program they will compete with each other with the help of CTF challenges okay then you will get the cheat seats that how you can get access easily coverage of latest malwares all the new latest malwares and trojans you will get they will also get covered then lab intensive program so you see every learning objective is demonstrated using lab means whatever you study any of the module each and every module is having labs then hands-on program so more than 50 percent of training time is dedicated to the labs means less theory more of practical then lab environment simulates a real-time environment. so the lab element means whatever you will get in the labs that will simulate the real-time things okay then this covers latest hacking tools based on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Means these operating systems will also be covered. Then latest OS is covered like your Windows 11, like your Windows Server 2019, okay, 2016, 2022, okay, even your Parrot OS, Ubuntu. These things are covered. All the latest OSs are covered. You learn how to hack them. Then all the tool screenshots are replaced with latest version, okay means whatever tools you will get in the booklet okay so in the books the ec council books official books they provide screenshot of the tools so those tools are replaced with the latest versions okay all the tool listing slides are updated with the latest tool okay so you will have knowledge of the latest tools on the and all the countermeasure slides are updated because every day new technologies are coming in means if you try to cover a loophole then there is a new exploit coming out so the countermeasure part is also has been updated so these are the key feature updates in your ch version 12 and then next we have the key technology updates what are the key technology updates so you get introduced to the mitre attack framework this mitre attack framework has been designed by the mitre corporation okay for analyzing the network security and finding the vulnerabilities then you get introduction introduced to the diamond model of intrusion analysis what is intrusion intrusion is getting into the network so if someone is trying to get into your network so you will get this diamond model of intrusion analysis to analyze if there is an intrusion and what is the damage then techniques of establishing persistence okay so what is persistence for example if you create a trojan and if you want, want to create a persistent trojan so what is the difference a normal trojan you can say like 
when you have sent the normal trojan and if it is run it if it is executed by your target so if the target restart the machine then next time when the system turns on your target has to reinitiate or restart the trojan okay but if you create a persistent trojan okay if you establish persistence in your trojan in that case the trojan will automatically get started every time the system boots up so you will learn the techniques to establish persistence as well then evading nac and endpoint securities because like on endpoints also on your routers switches or your systems they are having security programs like your antiviruses and all these things so you learn how to evade the antiviruses firewalls ids all these devices then you will get to different computing models that is fog edge and grid computing models these are the computing models they will be discussed in the ch version 12 then the updated oss so all the latest oss are being covered in the ch version 12 like your windows 11 parrot security windows server 2022 windows server 2019 android and ubuntu linux all these oss have been updated means all the attack strategies all the exploits they have been designed according to the these particular oss then we have common job roles for the ch so if you go with the ch if you are pursuing ch then you will get these kind of job roles like mid level information security auditor cyber security auditor security administrator it security administrator cyber defense analyst we have va analyst warning analyst then information security analyst security analyst l1 infos infosec security administrator cyber security analyst level 1 2 and 3 all three levels then network security engineer soc security analyst security analyst networking engineer network security consultant information security manager senior soc analyst solution architect and cyber security consultant so means you will be getting these kind of job roles so anywhere you see an opening related to these kinds of job roles if you have done the ch you are eligible to apply and you can take the interview and prove your skills and get the job so these are the common job roles for your ch uh, someone who is pursuing ch okay so this was all the information for this particular video i hope the video was informative if you find this video useful please like the video and subscribe to networkers home youtube channel i'll see you in a next video